hello hello welcome to our episode this week and uh, i'm inviting you to relax today is relax mood my name is carol your health coach and i'm happy 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 to be with you this is a segment where we talk about lifestyle diseases lifestyle issues everything to do with lifestyle every question you've asked us that relates to our way of life our lifestyle and how we are seeing things how we can improve our way of life on this segment i i answer your questions and today i got an amazing question that um, i would want us to have this conversation maybe it will be brief i'm hoping it will be brief but even if it's not brief it's never that serious let's talk about it so my sisters wrote today is sister's day sisters sisters topic we're going to talk to sisters and uh, the question is in regards to the pimples that sometimes grow on our vaginal area. Yes. Our sister wrote to us and asked, is it normal? What is it? Does it mean that I'm sick? Is it cancer? Is it STI? What is it? So let's address the, the pimples. It is very normal for a woman, different ages, depending on where they are depending on the hormones that are happening in their body, for sometimes to develop a pimple on their vaginal area. Just like you see a woman developing pimples on their face, on the chest area, at the back, sometimes during their menstrual periods or a week or a few days before their menstrual periods, some women develop a pimple on their vaginal area. Sometimes the pimple is painful, Sometimes it's big, it's huge, and other times it's just a normal pimple. So I want to separate these two types of pimples. For, my, for, for you, my viewer, as you watch, I'm sure you are thinking, uh, maybe I've not developed this pimple during my periods, but there's another pimple that I develop every time after I shave. For my sisters who shave, they experience um, itchiness, and then after some time they get bumps on the area, the pelvic area where they've shaved. So those are the two different types of pimples we are going to talk about today. The first type, uh, the one that is hormonal, sometimes and most of the times it grows and develops on the lip area. The lips, uh, some people call it the labia. Yes, it's called the labia. Sometimes it is developed there and that is when you know that it, that one is hormonal. Some, most of the time, the one that you get just before your periods do not develop on your pelvic area. The one that developed on, the, the develops on your pelvic areas is uh, when you shave and the hair follicle. You know, the hair underneath your skin, there is hair. The hair comes from underneath. Sometimes as the hair is growing, it can grow crooked or it can overgrow or it can... You see, the hair, even as human beings, we have twins. Sometimes even your hair gets twins or triplets or quadruplets and then they cannot fit on that pole. Then they develop the bump. So sometimes and most of the time after shave is because of the hair follicle that has not grown properly. Or after you shaved, the pores did not open properly and then the you got acne you see my sister the way same way you get acne on your face it is the same way that your body can get acne this you can get acne here you can get acne on your face you can get on your back it's the same way that your vagina and the pelvic area can get the acne so the the big difference is that the one for acne it can develop any time of the month it can develop in different shapes different types and sometimes you when you finger it it is blackhead blackhead means that it will give um uchafuya black and then there, there's another one that will give a uh, pass that is white in color so that's a big difference the other one that we get hormonal it is the same one that we get maybe on our face that the hormonal one comes once a month and not every month it will come there it sometimes it will show up then it will disappear you should be worried if after your periods, the pimples still continue growing, the pimples, uh, they become more or they, they, they become more painful because there are some STIs. STI is sexually transmitted infections or sexually transmitted diseases that show and reflect in form of those pimples. Now, you need to differentiate between the pimple and a what. A what... I'm trying to look for the simplest language to use. A what? A pimple is like a bump. Okay? A what is like the skin that overgrew. Ni kama 
kangozi kame overgrow so when you have what that's a whole different story that we are going to talk about when we are talking about hpv human papilloma virus when we are talking about um the genital warts so difference of a uh, pimple and a wart mostly the warts develop just where the line between your thighs and your vaginal area the, that line that is there most women will develop warts there they'll also they can develop warts in the at the entrance of the vagina they can, you can develop warts um on the lips so there's a big difference i'm not talking about the warts i'm talking about the pimple and the pimple if it is appearing once a month that is very normal and if you check the schedule when it appears it's just before your periods or during your ovulation okay so if and when you need to go to hospital is when this pimple is consistently there it is consistently there it has uh, every time you and you should not try to um, pop it if you try to pop it you might even spread the bacteria when your body has too much bacteria and an imbalance of bacteria it reflects in forms of boils it reflects in forms of those pimples so be careful don't go popping them because you might be transferring the bacteria if this pimple does not end after your periods then you need to go and see your gynecologist if it comes and consistently it's always there you need to be careful now for the other ones that um, i've talked about you see the same ones that develop on your under your armpit after shave you can avoid them by doing what one after you shave you take a hot bath a hot towel you see if you go to any of these kenyoses where our men go to after they are shaved their beard is shaved they usually take a towel they put hot water they squeeze and then they part like this what do you do when you after immediately after you shave if you press with hot towel even your armpits you should be able to do that if you press with hot towels you're opening up the pores and the hair follicles will not con get confused when they are trying to grow number two you need to apply an aftershave and happy vagina oil is an aftershave that every time after you shave and even even our men they'll tell you after in the in the barber shop after you have shaved your beard they apply aftershave to prevent that rash to prevent that itching and also to prevent that hair hair growth so happy vagina oil is a product that i made under my company rnb rejuvenating nature's beam and if you would want to know more about the rn the happy vagina in rnb I will be able to provide you with the details and then you can have and have come you can come to us and have these conversations over the phone if you are far uh if you are near us you can visit our office in Thika town if not in Thika town the town that is next to you we have different uh, stations so on the comment section the pinned comment has all the details on all the R&B branches their contacts and their location so feel free to interact with us and again if you are again far maybe you're not able to call or you're not able to visit us i have written a book called um, natural remedies and it will be able to explain to you all these things so these pimples that are stressing us they should not stress us if they only appear once a month that's very normal it is very kawaida it's just the same way you get them anywhere on your face on your chest or on your back that is the end of our today's episode and i am always always happy for the questions comments and everything i'm always looking forward did you learn something today would you want us to learn something more write on our comment section if not you can write to us via text on 0711 63 or 0750 Better still, you can go to our website www.rnb.co.ke. On our website, you'll be able to interact with these products, you'll be able to interact with the with the most of our information and there is a connection between uh, the website and our youtube channel our facebook our social media platforms but there is also an email for you who would want to just type and we'll be able to respond to you at the same time you can also visit us in thicker town uh with Taithia, with Taithia house with Taithia house is a building that hosts consolidated bank go to second floor room um 201 annex and you'll be able to get all that information if you'd want an, a one-on-one -on -one session, you need to book an appointment. You come and we have a whole one hour to 
just discuss things about your healthy lifestyle and then we get to know each other and we get to see how we can create a ripple effect of infecting the entire world to live a healthy lifestyle. Carol, your health coach is a naturopathic health coach and I always try to get all the natural resources around you to, and I teach you how to use them to prevent and to manage diseases. This episode would not have been possible were it not for the production team, Smart Edge Media. They are the ones who have worked tirelessly to make sure that this information that I have has gotten to you. So thank you so much, Smart, Smart Edge Media. Thank you so much, EJ Beauty, for making me look this elegant. They are my makeup artists. And Evelyn, my girl, thank you for dressing me up. This is Magadiwe Boutique along Magadi Road in Kiserian and also in Ongata Rongai. Their phone numbers are running here. You can contact Smart Edge Media for your production services, EJ Beauty for the makeup, Evelyn for dressing up, and R&B team, thank you so much because you've worked tirelessly and you're making sure that all the products are available, everything that is happening, it's because of you. Last and the most important is you, my viewer. Thank you because the love that you've shown me is mm, out of this world. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing the videos. I love you. See you next time as we talk about lifestyle, lifestyle issues that are affecting us. Whatever topic you want us to discuss, let them in. We'll discuss. Till next time, I'll see you.